welcome to LA's newest attraction, the Sixth Street Viaduct Bridge. For some people, this is the gateway to heaven, and for some people, it's the gateway to hell. Let me show you around the bridge and give you some facts. On each side of the bridge, there are 10 arches. So total, there are 20 arches. And they call this bridge Ribbon of Lights. At night, they look really nice. They have different color lights in between. You're gonna see that later. See, the news is still here reporting about this. You can take some really good pictures from this side. And I took one right here during the sunset. Check it out. Those are roughly 200 LED lights and they got for each arch two of them. I'm just wondering how come the fence is so high on this side and then here it stops and it's really low. Maybe because the freeway is right here. Not that it's good that people jump off the bridge anyway, but here they cannot jump on the freeway where the cars are. Maybe that's the reason. The view here on the bridge is amazing. Uh-oh, that guy is running. He parked his car and the police is gonna give him a ticket. We already know from my other video that the ticket is $225. And the officer is riding him up. We got the walkway, we got the bicycle lane, then we got four lanes, two in each direction. We got another bicycle lane and another walkway. What I don't understand is, why is the concrete so rough? Normally it's really smooth. Why did they leave all those ridges in here? Maybe for the water to run down, I have no idea. When I was here a couple of days ago, there were people standing on top of this arch. Even the news showed people climbing up there. And I just wanna show you how easy it is to get up there. This is like waist high. All you gotta do is step up here Get up, look at this. I'm already on here. This is so easy to climb up. So no wonder why people climb up that arch. Maybe they should make a little longer fence up here. I'm not an engineer, I'm just a YouTuber. Look how easy, one, two steps. Even a heavy set guy like me climbs up here in a, in a second. Halfway over the bridge, you see all those art warehouses. And they all got solar power on top. That's pretty cool. Then they have this little walkway here. I believe it's going down to the park. Wow, I'm underneath the bridge. And look at all this concrete here. It's like a concrete jungle. They used over 110,000 tons of concrete to build this bridge. Wow. I love this area underneath the bridge here with all those trains. This is every photographer's paradise. This makes a great picture. Check this out. Nice, huh? All this area here is going to be a 12 acre park. And I put some graffiti up here already. I just can't believe the bridge is standing only on this little thing here. We all know that the bridge is supposed to be earthquake proof. Those are triple friction bearings, that's what they call them. And they're seismic isolation columns. And they're actually installed in all 26 brackets. And in case of an earthquake, those things move 30 inches to the left and 30 inches to the right. But you know what? I don't want to be on this bridge when the earthquake hits. See, there we have some more columns. And they're all over the bridge. This is insane. How can the whole bridge be on those columns? This is the original entrance underneath the old Sixth Street Bridge. That's where all the cars from Greece drove in. And we first got introduced to Terminator right here underneath the bridge. The T-1000 was right here. There was a fence with a hole in and they filmed it right here underneath the Sixth Street Bridge. The stairs leading up to the bridge are still closed. 
This is the spiral road that takes you down to the park when it's finished. Whee, you get dizzy. Welcome to the concrete jungle. When I was here a couple of days ago, I didn't really want to do a video. I just came here to take some pictures of the sunset. There were so many people on the bridge and you can see all the donuts they did right here on the street. If you go to my other video, this is where the guy hit the other two cars, one here and one here, and they're cleaning up the rest from the accident still. No stopping any time. Hey Mike, look at this. Yeah, that's the aftermath from last night. The guy did a donut right here and hit two cars. And they still left this here? Yeah. Take it home as a souvenir. Nah, that's okay. <laughs> When they built this bridge, they estimated the cost would be $420 million. The end result was $588 million. They were only off a few million dollars. Building this bridge was the biggest bridge project in LA history. And the architect was Michael Maltzen. The old Sixth Street Bridge was in tons of movies and TV shows like Terminator 2, Grease, Transformers, and Zombieland and the new bridge is also going to be a backdrop for all the new movies. I bet the movie studio is already lining up. Who's going to be first to do videos on this bridge here? I love the metal arches on the old 6th Street Bridge that was built in 1932. This is too concrete looking for me. So that's why I really like the old 6th Street Bridge. They painted some graffiti over here already. All right, let me try to explain this to you. I'm not a physicist. I'm just a YouTuber with beach experience. When they poured that concrete, that was the problem with the old bridge because LA is so hot, the concrete dries so quick that they have like cracks inside the concrete. So in order for them to not let it dry too fast, they put some liquid nitrogen in the concrete. I don't know how that works, but that's what I read. So this bridge is supposed to last at least a hundred years. You be dead, I be dead, we all gonna be dead by then. And I think right here, this is the LA jail and the inmates can see the bridge light up at night, I think. Tico, mm. if you had to guess how many feet of steel cable did they use for this bridge, what would you say? Uh, let's see, uh, a, a guesstimation? Uh... About how, how many of these? I would say I don't know, but I know you have the answer. What is it? 15,000 feet of steel cable. I must say those steel cables, pretty impressive. See, some arches are taller than others. This one is smaller and they're not straight. One is like this, one is like this. I don't really know why they did that. It's all in the eye of the beholder. See, they have those barriers here between the walkway and the bike path. And at night, people just come here and sit on here and relax and watch the craziness going on on the bridge. I'm wondering why they didn't put poles in the middle of the street so the people can't do donuts. They're probably gonna do that soon. It's actually nice sitting here looking at the bridge and downtown Los Angeles. A lot of people say, hey, what's up? Can't believe it. People recognize me. What I was saying is some people say the bridge is beautiful. Some people say the bridge is ugly. It all depends. If you ask me, I like the bridge. It's iconic. It looks really good. It's super long, like one kilometer long. And I think they did a fantastic job here. And despite of all of this, a lot of people watching my videos, they're somewhere in the world and they would pay money to sit where I'm sitting right now. So I enjoy it here and uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I was pretty bummed when they had the opening and I couldn't be here. There was over 15,000 people here on the bridge on opening day. But right now I'm thinking, hmm, 
it is actually better to be here by myself and do the video without having people running around all the time yeah sometimes you get some buses coming by but that's okay so overall i'm not bummed anymore i'm happy i'm here right now and i'm glad i didn't come when there was like 15,000 people here so i'm happy the way it is man i really like this train here one second you're here and one second later you're down here with the train i did a video about a train track in downtown la where they stole all those packages check that video out too that was amazing crazy this is what i call the real los angeles right underneath the six street bridge I love those old locomotives. I don't know why. They even look good with all the graffiti on it, I think. We love LA. I like the LA look with the palm trees and the electrical poles. More graffiti got painted over. More pieces from the old 6th Street Bridge. There's this metal arch. And all those rocks are from the 6th Street, man. More graffiti. Where are they gonna put that piece? What? They even got the light poles from the old bridge. It is just amazing to look at this piece of art. Just imagine how all this looks when everything is green. If you keep going on the 6th Street all the way down to downtown Los Angeles, you end up on Skid Row. This is such a long straight road that just invites you to go fast. I understand when people speed up here. It kind of reminds you of a racetrack. Even though the stairs are not open yet to the bridge, but yet they already put graffiti up here. Here you can see they already painted the graffiti over on the new 6th Street Bridge. Tico, what's up? Can you help me to move this thing to my car? This is the original piece from the 6th Street Bridge, the old one, the original, the iconic 6th Street Bridge. What do you think? I'm not strong enough. <laughs> this is the original piece from the 6th Street Bridge. I love it. Look at the bolts and the metal. Here you can see how long the 6th Street Bridge is. It's exactly 3,500 feet long and 100 feet wide. Right underneath the bridge is the 101 freeway. Welcome to Los Angeles, traffic. I love those street signs and I love the entrance sign. That look good in my apartment, huh? I love all those trains. LA River. I'm just wondering why is still this piece of the old 6th Street Bridge right there? It's six years ago when they teared it down. And look, they got two placards right here. One is of the original 6th Street Bridge where they have the iconic steel arches. Those were the steel arches and I really love this one. And there's another placard right here. This is the 6th Street Viaduct Replacement Project. Eric Cassetti is the mayor of Los Angeles. And now you know. I don't really know who that is, but this is definitely Los Angeles. Did you know that the 6th Street Bridge crosses over 18 railroad tracks? And this is the spiral walkway going from the bridge down to the park, which is not ready yet. Tico, check out the Rihanna mural right over there. 
Is that one of her songs? Do you know anything about it? No, that's the, uh, the, the clothing that she's wearing in the painting. It's a, it's a Japanese uh, garment. Whoever did this painting did a really good job. And then they got a board ape, an NFT. All right, so the new 6th Street Bridge runs all the way from Boyle Heights to the Downtown Arts District. I love all those old warehouses. Would be cool to have one of those lofts up there. I think Jennifer Beals in Flashdance had one like that. Sun is about to go down. More photo opportunities. That looks so nice. We got front row seats right here on the 6th Street Bridge, but nothing is gonna happen tonight because uh, there's a lot of police up and down the street. The sky looks so beautiful. During the day it looks alright, but I like it much better when the lights are on at night. Let's check it out. There's the hammer from Zombieland. Filmed right here on the 6th Street Bridge. Look, I can change the little colors on my bike just like they can change the colors on the bridge. It actually looks way better when you ride your bicycle towards the sunset with the orange in the background. And then the purple changing lights. That's LA, people. This car here with the light this is gonna definitely be the new hangout and it's gonna be like the new cruising strip right here up and down the 6th Street Bridge 100% you can feel the energy everybody's so happy to drive up and down the new bridge here uh oh they're giving people a ticket already for parking on the bridge slingshot how much 225 man and if you don't know now you know the tickets for parking on the bridge 225 dollars <laughs> well my friends that was it live here from the 6th street bridge in downtown los angeles i don't think you can hear the word bridge anymore i use it so many times in this video but anyway if you like the video give it a thumbs up push the notification bell and subscribe to my channel i mean look at this here la i'm in la see you guys later tschüssing <laughs>